Power Station. Indie horror game. Sit down. Enjoy. Good games to play. Can you feel the heat? Yes, yes, I can. Yes. From the 80s pop rock group to horror video game. It is a natural transition. Uh, is that a sandwich? Oh, I'm not really sure what that was. Tooth mouse sensitivity! The mouse doesn't like me. Wait a minute, is this supposed to be from this building supposed to be from like the 1950s? Or am I thinking about a different game? So why are there are arcade boxes back there? Shit, sensitivity! Please tell me I can... No, I can't. F1? No, you're not here to save me. Run button? Hell no. You're on your own. You just gotta walk like a cripple. Do the cripple dance. Anisotropic filtering? Fuck that. Ooh, the Unity Indian engine. Oh my god. This is a trash, trash. Dude, why is it mouse? This is a trash hole, so I can't even jump. It's just me against the wild out here. Terror come in. So, deep dark tunnels like Penumbra, man. Yeah, I wish I had more references to Power Station, but I really hated that group. I, I guess it's supposed to look. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Conflicting layers or something, I don't know. Locked. Jammed. Won't budge. What? Oh, I can actually look at shit? Like, just non-obvious shit sitting on tables? Well, I probably should have been doing that. I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's probably a lot of fun. Mouse man. I haven't played with a mouse like this since the days of Quake. Lou was not much of a Quake 3 player. I really like the original. Didn't really understand the second one. Okay, where is the where is the terror? In the power station. Where's all the heat? Well, it's very locked. I notice how there seems to be some kind of priority, like in, in these horror games, where where you know, these these little chairs and shit they get away with these things. They never then they're never held to any kind of standard. They don't have to hide. They don't have to do anything. Monsters never come looking for them. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. I get like this when I get scared. So far, your game's not all that scaring. Scary. It's not scaring me. Sorry, it's my dyslexia kicking in again. Dyslexia covers more than just seeing words in reverse. Tell me I can get around so I don't have to walk all the way back. Hey, that's good. Oh, here comes the fun part. I think I found the horror in your horror game. I won 
the scavenger hunt. Oh, now I'm disoriented. Okay, I guess. The tube is facing to the right. No sense of urgency at all, especially with the flashlight. I never trust flashlights. I never trust batteries, really. I haven't trusted a battery since those old, like, Duracell batteries you could check to see the power on them if you press the little buttons. Power level. I love those things. I miss them. They weren't all, they weren't particularly accurate, but they gave you at least a, a general idea of what was going on with the battery. Tires. Tires inside of a power station? Maybe for the forklift? All I know is, if that monster moves faster than five miles an hour, I'm doomed. This again. We got a transformer, perhaps? jump to get in there, so I don't know. What have we here? I'm just wandering blindly, because I have I thought it might be a bear trap at first, but no, it's a gear. Well, then. You know you've done fucked up when you come into a room like this. Sound symbol, definitely. Okay, okay, I'm looking this. I'm getting the sense now that you're building up the tension. At first, I was a bit confused. I played another horror game earlier, it literally had one scare in it. It was a trial. Better sit up right now with no scoliosis. Is Flip a coin if I had one. Obamacare took all my money. <clears throat> Please be acro on site. I think I can creep better that way. Well, yeah, I'm starting to get that, that sensation that whoever is in here, whatever is in here, is locking the doors. So this is, like, a cannibal serial killer is just is sort of a product of, of their own usually sexual pathology that, that in, in many ways, like, the, the old, their decision-making is driven by that desire to fulfill some sexual need given that uh, their targets are often those that would immediately have them pursued. Like, somebody will notice white girls in their 20s being killed. Chances are they're not going to notice some dude bum that's being killed. They're not even going to notice the guy's gone. And to fulfill this, this paraphilia, they target that target, that female target, that's going to get them in trouble, ultimately caught or killed. Typically both. Death by prison. Thought I might throw that out there. I think you're wearing the tension so thin it's about to break. This plunger and I shall save the world. Come forth. Scalibur! Oh no! 
want to be silly and play horror games too. I noticed that that will get people popular. And I can become popular just like them. Ah, oh, now his damn heater came on. I think I'm going backwards. <laughs> 